Well, we have more breaking news tonight as uh, we look live at the Port of Oakland. We learned a little while ago a massive cargo ship that is docked there right now made some unusual movements a few days ago near that oil pipeline that ruptured. KPI X5's Andrea Nakano has been digging into it. The ship came here to the Port of Oakland after leaving Orange County. It was spotted this morning, and now there's an investigation underway to see if the ship's anchor played a role in rupturing the pipeline. Chopper 5 captured the Rotterdam Express docked at the Port of Oakland Wednesday. Tonight, we are getting a look at the ruptured pipeline in this video posted by the Coast Guard. According to the Associated Press, it tracked data that looks at marine traffic and found that the Rotterdam Express, a German flagship, made three unusual movements over two days that appear to put it over the pipeline. Captain John Conrad, who publishes an offshore blog, says there are many unanswered questions as a look into whether or not the Rotterdam Express had anything to do with the oil spill. Did he have the right charts? Um, did this vessel traffic service uh, advise him? Um, you know, were, was this an old pipeline that maybe wasn't properly charted? These, these are the questions we have to ask. The Coast Guard says the ruptured pipeline may have spilled nearly 150,000 gallons of crude oil into the ocean. Sky Truth, a nonprofit organization that uses satellite technology to track ships, says it never came closer than 1,500 feet from the line, and it's unlikely the ship's anchor is to blame. Southern California, though, just like Oakland, is experiencing heavy container ship traffic during the pandemic. There's no space to put the containers. There's lack of equipment, not enough chassis. A spokesperson with Hapag Loy tells the AP that the company is fully cooperating with the investigation. The company also says that the ship was pretty far away from the pipeline. In Oakland, Andrea Nakano, KPIX5.